Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Holy flannels, take it away. So we're there. We're going. We're there. Okay, well, Friday Night Flies with Scotty Holmes and Big Bad Brad and Sheridan hanging around. Um, yeah, it's uh, Friday night. We've uh, had a good show from Zach. I actually liked your fly, Zach, and I actually tie something similar, so good fly. Thumbs up for me. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's uh, getting to be springtime here in, uh, in the uh, West Coast and soon to be cutthroat time. Uh, so we're all sort of planning one of our... Uh, Getting our getting our stuff ready, getting our flies ready, getting ready to go out and and slay some cutthroat trout. Um, yeah, so I, I came up with a, I saw Brad's fly last week or uh, last Saturday that he they filmed it, and uh, it just started started to get me going. And then I was looking at some of the stuff. You. It inspired me, yeah. And I was uh, looking through some of the stuff I had and came up with a pattern that using something that I haven't like I bought it about like five months ago and I haven't even used it yet so bye girls bye. in case you guys were wondering his lovely wife and beautiful daughter were just in here yeah critiquing yeah. his fly yeah and making me nervous like they're <laughs> standing there looking at me so yeah I'm glad that they're it's good that you still get the butterflies from your wife man. <laughs> yeah That's well good. I guess it's just not usual like I don't usually have them standing there and she's looking right at, you know yeah well whatever it's yeah. done they're gone um, so yeah, I just came up with an idea and then uh, sort of worked on it this week a little bit, did a couple flies, tried a, different, a couple different things and um, I mean, I love bucktail. You know, every time I use bucktail, I seem to catch fish. Um, I, I think it's one of those materials that's sort of getting lost these days. People, there's all these new materials, synthetic materials, everything, so it's just not being used as much as it used to be. It used to be the standard, right? I mean, bucktail flies, right? Here, let's go down. We'll give that guy a slow roll. Okay, let's give it a slow Drummer, roll. Slow roll. That thing looks sexy, man. I, I really like that. It's got a lot of flash. It's got a lot of color contrast. You know, like use it at Anderson Lake at the at the mouth of the river for bu for bullies in the springtime. Yeah, Anderson and Lake in Montana. Right? Just like in That's Montana. Right. Just like in Montana. <laughs> Anderson Lake, Montana. Okay, well, let's get it out of there. It's really far away. Yeah, it's like on the other side of the planet. Yeah, it's a long ways away. Is it too far away? Yeah, it is pretty far. Are you going to be okay with that? I don't know. We we'll can make some minor adjustments quick, like, see, um, it's almost like you need to spin your vice. Yeah, your I face. need to spin my vice. All right, let's do it. Sure, let's do it. we might need your help here. I think we'll be good. Yeah. Huh? No, it's got to be like this. It's just, you it's, sure? Yeah, it's just, I usually, it's not as far away, right? Well, how are we doing now? Well, we're, we're fine. We're That's fine. good? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, that'll work. I'll if do it. If it's out of focus, we'll have to just kind of focus it in. Okay. It says, uh, okay, we're gonna act like get him another pair of glasses. It doesn't work, Zach. I can't <laughs> see. Yeah, he takes that his doesn't work. Off I take my trying. glasses off. I don't, see, I don't, he sees too damn good when he's got his glasses off. Yeah, I, so, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Okay, go ahead, dear buddy. Yeah, we're gonna go. So, we're gonna try and get the thread on here. It's like I'm gonna have a sore back by the time I'm done this. Do you wanna like stand or something? No, or that's all is good. it too low or too high? Or? It's just too far away. Okay. But it's good. We'll we will get through how, it. How did you do before? Different chair or something? Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's the chair, like the whole the whole setup. It's all good. Okay, so we're gonna get our thread on. I'm gonna get a little bit more thread on there. We tied with this one for years. You wanna try this one? This one's a small No, it's, it's the other one that I used to tie on, the red one. The red one. Oh, that, man. Okay. We haven't had so, that one this fly has got a couple different cheats from different people. This is sort of taking some of the lefty cray. Um, deceiver. What's that? The deceiver. The deceiver or the, the cuda uses this tail, I think. So, I'm going to take three... Of the white and I'm gonna take two of the grizzly and as I think on that video that, that was the one that you tried to tie at the same rate as the way he was uh, 
Ty, was that Lefty Cray? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was listening. Okay, so we're going to just clump these together. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the the grizzly hackles on the outside. This one here sucks. It's curling on me, so it's not going to go straight down the... Zax is a dual mono loop off the back to stop the hackles from fouling on the bend of the hook. What's that? Zach says to do a mono loop off the back to stop the hackles from fouling off the back or off the bend of the hook. I don't know what he's talking about there. Me either. Either way. Whatever. Okay, so the tail is going to be about length of the hook. So somewhere in there. I want to keep those on the top. And I'm just going to trim them up. <laughs> I don't understand what he said. Like, I'm, tr I'm thinking about it. <laughs> well, What's there it? he goes. He says, I'll show you the model the, the next time I do the GT5. Okay. Right. Yeah. You Thanks. Do. Thank Oop. you. We need that. Okay. So we got our tail tied in. Too fancy, Zach. I don't even I don't even use the rotary version of part of my vice very often, so there you go. I can. Actually I did this week. It's just a pain though. To get up where I sit and tie. The the uh, you get so used to it, eh? Okay, a little bit of flash. You been out fishing at all? Um, I was out ice fishing once. I got a steelhead the other day. Yeah, I saw the picture of that. Very nice. But I didn't talk about the other three that I lost. <laughs> and you oh. lost three. Rick said he had one on. Oh, God. Can you tell I watched, uh, that story? I watched my brother-in-law lose an absolute monster and all they could do was chuckle and yep. he did not think that was that funny yeah well that's that isn't funny okay so we got our tail on there a little bit of flash blue on there now we're going to tie on our rib or our body with this white sparkle chenille wrap our thread forward And then our Vivas thread, which is pretty cool stuff, in iris. I said I said chartreuse, it's in iris. But it's pretty cool stuff. And it's very strong, too. That's the part I like. If you don't want to use wire or you want to try something different. Okay, so then we're going to wrap up our chenille. We're going to get on fishing with you pretty soon, man. What's up? It's been a while since me and you got a line wet together. I'm going to go, I'm going to go steel hiding in Squamish. It just, I'm looking for the right day in terms of the other thing I do in the winter is ski. So what kind of day are you looking for then? One uh, that's not really nice. Like, uh, yeah, I, like I'm, it's going to be the middle of March. Yeah. End of March for me. 
before I'm actually thinking about skiing or um, fishing. I might do some, like, I. that's the thing, I can go, I can ski in the morning time and I can come back and go fishing and ice fishing in the afternoon. You put in some serious laps last year, didn't you? Yeah, I got a million vertical feet last year. Yeah, dude, that's got to be a record of some sort, isn't it? Not for, not, not even close. For it is for me. Um, I'm at four, six, four sixty-two vertical this year, something like that. Oh, in so that, yeah, in twenty, that's twenty-six days of skiing. That's pretty good, though. Like I don't know, I've never skied a day in my life, but a million just, vertical feet. Well, man, you, you have to remember, you have to remember the start of the season. Okay, so we didn't many, have we didn't have any snow at the start no. of the season, so it was impossible to get the footage. Well, just to get any any distance, yeah. Like I was bored by my fourth run. Like you can only do the same thing so many times, and then yeah. it's boring, right? Yeah. Okay, so back to the flies. So we got we got our body on there. See, this is the whole thing. That's why my flies take like forty minutes, brother. Because we ch we chat. It's like <laughs> we're chatting. Because we're tired. Chat. Yeah. I'll just shut up. Sorry. I know, like Scotty and those guys, they, their whole fly is explaining Zach's. We just chat yeah. the whole time. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that we're going to do here is we're going to, when we put our bucktail on, we're going to put it on in four pieces rather than trying to do it in big bulky pieces that it, are just going to basically pull out. And especially because I got to tuck them underneath that cone head or get them underneath the cone head. So here's the, here's the bucktail. It's pretty cool. But this is the side we're using, using the underside. So there's a lot of there's a lot of fly, different kind of flies on this one piece. Pretty cool stuff. Did it look? Could you could you see it? Yeah. Yeah, man, it looks good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, so, I love that. I've got one that's a. Uh, I've got a few different ones. Green. I got a purple tipped one. A few. Yeah, I've got. I bought them all from. As soon as you got those in, I went out there. Yeah. Scotty and I went in there, and we're not Scotty and I. I think it was me and uh, Ethan, maybe. And I just picked out like four or five and... Yeah, they're good, man. I love them. Okay, so... I found that like you need the contrast when it comes to steel yeah. flies. You need the contrast. You do. I agree. And I, I mean, you know, chartreuse or iris or whatever. So I'm going to put the bottom on first. Maybe. See you, Jordan. Good night, man. Oh, you know what? I don't... Um... And I want this to extend basically through most of the tail. So we're about there. Yeah. So I'm going to trim that off. Pinch it. And try to get it all spread out around there. Okay. Something like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the side with maybe just a little bit less of the bucktail and get rid of all those all the fur and all the little fibers that you don't want so I'll do this side first the side facing me and I want it about the same same length And they're going to splay out a little bit. I'm going to back wrap a little bit, settle them down after I get them all on there. I mean, you could do the same thing, I guess, with just a, a red felt pen. Like, I'm not sure how long or how well that that dye is going to set on there. Well, if it's permanent, I can't see why it wouldn't. Well, that's going to make your fly box stink. 
Yeah. Kind of like Sally's hard nails. I, I put these all in pla in another plastic box. I don't put them in my fly box. Yeah. yeah. Something that you'd use like more for... Uh... That's something I really like about those bucktail with the cone heads. Is yep. that they just tuck right up in there pretty like. Well, yeah. And you know, that was the one thing I like the way. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. So if you wanted... If you wanted to do that, you could throw in some lead. Like your fly, the one that you tied, had the, the uh, dumbbell eyes on it. Definitely a lot more weight to it, you know. It's more like a jig sort of thing. Um, but if you wanted to, I have a couple that I tied that that I put in some .30 lead, filled the head, solar as it in there, and then built the rest of my fly. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm probably going to be throwing this with a spay rod, is my guess, or a switch rod, one of the two. Okay, so we got... Most of the wing on there. Now we're going to put a little bit on the top. Pulling them apart. I love this time of year, Scotty. I love the springtime. It's my favorite it's, time. It's a change of the season, right? Like, yeah. We put a lot of days in on the hard water. And by the end of it, we're ready for some open water. And I'm at, I'm at that point right now where I'm op I'm ready for open water. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, How many days have you been ice fishing? Lots or what? <laughs> yeah, it started out slow like anything, right? The uh, Whistler just didn't get winter until... January. And in January, yeah. like middle of January. And when we got the cold weather, it was snowing. And the snow just didn't really stick to the mountains. It didn't, you know, but it insulated a lot of the lakes. So the ice was in bad shape. But then, like, thank God it's in good shape now, though. It's in really good shape now, yeah. yeah. Like, the whole eye drill was, like, 10 inches. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put our flash in on the side. And I'm doing it in two sections rather than trying to wrap and back wrap and that didn't work well. Get a new piece. It's just like three, possibly four strands. And I really like this crystal flash. It's pretty cool stuff. Oh, that didn't work. We'll make sure it stays in there that time. Okay, so I gotta put it in the other side. As you get old, Brad, your fingers stop working the way they used to. Sometimes when I'm tying at home, especially if I tie a lot of flies. They just stop working? Yeah, they just... Well, it's probably the years of repetition burning your fingers. Well, yeah, I mean, my hands have been pretty broken up in my life, that's for sure. Oh, God. I can only imagine the terror you put on them poor fingers cooking. Oh, yeah, so we got our flash in there. Got a few more on that side. No, it's, they're close. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to secure this and make sure that everything stays in there. So we're going to back wrap a little bit. And it also should flatten out the bucktail a little bit. Although, I mean, reality being, the water is going to do that. Okay. I bent the scissors are razor sharp, but I 
bent the tip. Okay, so there we go. We got our flash on now. We're almost done. And we need to put on... Is Zach still there? Yeah. Is he? he wants you to come to Christmas. You know, it's funny. Last time, last fly time, my wife's like, oh, yeah, I'll watch. I'll watch for sure. And I got home and I can't think of what she said, but I was like, so you watched and how long did you watch for? Oh, like about six minutes. And I'm like, you didn't even make it past the intro. The intro is... Okay, so we're going to put this pearl flash in there. And I'm not too fussy about exactly where it's sitting. There's a lot of material there. Susan says hi. Oh, hi, Susan. And she's saying it's looking great. I thought his hair was looking great too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So my hair is looking great. We got rid of all that stuff. So now it's time to put on a our collar. Which is going to be a piece of schlappen, one of Brad's favorite words. We, we made a, a lot of different schlappen flies. We have made a lot of different schlappen flies, yes. Cool. I was, I was cool fixated, fixated on schlappen for a while there. Yeah, you can use it for so many different applications. Yes, and where did the bar feather go? Over here, okay. And there's our, and there's our mallard flank. So we're going to strip down that a little bit. We're definitely going to strip down this and get all that stuff out of my way to start. And we don't want much. We're going to wrap it. If you want, you can strip it down a little bit, half, and just use half. It's so weird tying it so far away. All right, it's looking good, buddy. No matter We're getting there. It's looking, it's looking good. That's gonna look like gills. It's gonna look a lot like gills. Just the way you got it, like chunky, slapping looking. And if it's too chunky, just rip them out or cut them off. You don't need them. Yeah, that's a little bit more than the other one, I think. A little bit long, I think that's a little bit longer of a feather too than the other one was. And then we're going to put our flank over top of that. You got, you got a lot of viewers on here right now. Even Rick McKay's watching. I thought Rick was going to tie a fly. He says that every week. And then he, then he. I don't know what he does. Come on. He's got stage fright, I guess. Could be. Or a new girlfriend. That's probably what it is. <laughs> a million views. Okay. 
my scissors are not gonna get in there. Look at so same. We're just gonna do a quick couple wraps. I think that last one I maybe did one one wrap too many. My God, got things everywhere. You. Yeah. Two of them I did that and I cut my thread. What else? <laughs> hey, you're doing good. You gotta cut it today. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. You know, what's funny about me and streamers is that I don't spend a lot of time tying streamers because I basically just copied the things that you guys use that works. Yeah, it's pretty, I mean, that, that looks like a, a, a couple different flies put together in a sense, you know, like it looks a little bit like the moto, but it's kind of looks like it's got the lefty deceiver kind of feel to it, you know, but with the bucktail, it's going to definitely have some flow. I'm anxious to see how this thing works, man. Yeah, me too. I did. I was gonna put it in the flow tank, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna hold its shape nicely. That's one thing I think it's gonna really look good on in the water. You know what I was just thinking? That that I was gonna uh, forget something. Like last time, I don't know what it was. I forgot, but I forgot something. It seems to be my standard. Well, you didn't forget anything here, did you? Well, that's what I said. I was like, oh, did I forget? And then I was like, oh, yeah, you, you almost I everything in there. You almost did it again. It's the eagerness to be done. Oh, man, you got a good audience tonight? Yeah. I got to get myself one of those automatic bobbins you, you want one? you like those eh i've never tried one i uh, it takes a while to get used to them that's for sure i should have would said if throwing fish, my garbage on the ground if he was a fish he'd eat it okay dubby Oh my god. What? Zach, he's like, great way to pass the time as I put beads on eight dozen hooks. <laughs> while I've tied? Commercial tires, you gotta love it. He did that all while I've been tying this one fly. No, he's working on. He's gonna uh, put them on eight dozen hooks. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, so. Okay, explain what you're doing there. Uh, okay, well, right now, on the other fly, I, I was a little bit back further. I don't really need any more dubbing. I don't think I could put. A, I put a little bit of white on the other one. Where's the other one? Somewhere here. Okay, so yeah, there was a little bit of white as well. So you're just covering up the thread. So I'm just going to cover up the thread. Uh, I mean, I could throw a little bit of white on there, but I think I'm just going to whip finish it because I don't need the white dubbing. So I'm covering up the red thread or the white thread so that when I whip finish. She's hidden. Looks good. Attention to details, man. Seldom do I do that. But it makes sense. Especially in a fly like this because oh, it's yeah. in the, under the cone head. You're going to see the white oh, for yeah. sure. You're going to see it. Okay, so that's roughly it. I'm looking for Brad's handy dandy tool to brush this out a bit before I cut that thread off. There it is. Cut it out. Maybe I'll put a little bit more on there. So 
So yeah, this is going to be, I'm going to probably toss it with my seven weight switch, maybe something like that. Or I could use it for the cutties with my, if I was going for the cutthroats, I'll use my four weight switch. Which I really like to. I was wondering if I'm tied tonight. Uh, probably not going to be tied tonight. Probably not going to town tonight. Tie. I'm not. I'm not tied tonight. I really. I. I didn't even think of putting a fly together because we were supposed to have three guys tying today. Well, we got a couple shows. That's yeah. good. That, I'm having a real trouble with this today. With the, the what finish? No, we're getting... In behind the cone. She's packed in there tight, eh? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Give her a slow roll for us. Well, you know, I think it turned out. Damn, it looks damn good, buddy. Pretty much like the one I showed you. That's. You might have to leave that one here for me, bud. Yeah, as always. Yeah, so there we go. You know, fish it for fish it for cutthroat trout, fish it for steelhead, fish it for big bull trout on the lake. You know, troll it. I caught a fish on not on this pattern, but a similar pattern to this last year on Alta Lake. For bull trout, or not for bull trout, for cutthroat trout. Um, yeah, where are we? Which camera? Up top or down below? We're down below. You want to okay, okay, yeah, let's go up top. Make it easy. Yeah, there we there go. Okay. There. Well, uh, how long How long are we at right now? What the, what's the time? Uh, where are we at? We are at 32 minutes. Okay, 30, well, 33 hey. minutes. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you know what? That's good for me. That's you know good what? for Listen, me. Hey, these, with the fly's done. But uh, at 32 minutes, yeah, Stuart, it was done. Stuart Wood's got a question for you. Okay, what's that? He's wondering if you got any recommendations on an eight week single hand that won't kill my bank. I snap my loop. Zach's already given him a couple options, but is there any out, any options out there that you'd give him? Um, because you TFO, you like, TFO. I, like, I mean. It depends on what you want. I mean, if you want to spend a little bit of money, like a little bit of money, like say three, four hundred bucks, yep. I'd go TFO or I'd go Echo. Um, if I was going to go, you know, I have and I have some really nice fishing rods, but right now I like I fish a, a four weight dragonfly and I fish a seven weight. Uh, I was going to say dragon too, man. Dragonfly. Well, cool, you know what? Like, it's probably the hardest, bestest. No, no, I show up on the river and I drop it on the ground and I, I have a plastic reel on it for a four weight. It's not like I have a big drag or anything on it. So, yeah, it's just yeah. I like sometimes the idea of not having to worry about it. And, not and also, I like it. Like, it's not that, it's not that, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's, it's, uh, it's doable. So, we brought in a bunch of uh, Reddingtons as well. The, the, and the Reddingtons Weiss, is nice. Yeah. The Weiss combos are good. But uh, I think you'd probably be better off to go to the path. They're a little bit hardier. Yeah. Um, I like way. TFO. T Temple Fork Outfitters out of out of Alberta is one of my favorites. They're really good. They got great warranty program. There you have it. You know, great you get from to, Scotty Holmes. But they're not they're not on they're not on the cheap end of the price point for sure. You know, they're sort of like a middle price point. Um, but I really like them. I have two rods of theirs. I have loop rods and I have. Um, sage rod, you got, and you got I have more rods, and you know what to do with, man. You got more rods than I do. I got like about seventeen fly rods somewhere yeah. like that. Yeah, you got single hands, but it's rods. like three to nine. I got four spay rods, three switch rods. What's your favorite rod of all the rods you own? My five weight loop or my four weight switch in loop. Loop no, it's not a loop. That's not a loop rod. All the other ones are loop, but that one's What's uh, your switch? What is that? That's TFO. No shit. TFO four-way. You're way. putting a TFO right up there as your favorite. Jesus, that says a lot about TFO. Yeah, well, again, it's how they cast. You know, it's not like I don't look at it how much money you spend. It's not about how much money you spend. It's, it's, about, feels, yeah. it's about how it feels when you cast it. And that's why that four-way dragonfly, like I said, for the money, for the hundred bucks I spent for it, yeah. it feels 
Good. It's not as nice as my nice rod. Is it my sage or my? I think I think those old the uh, the four weights were on an IM six blank too, so they're bomb proof. Yeah, they really are. Like you can lift fish out of the water with them. Like <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you, you can. For a four weight, you, I, did, you did. You do that with a loop. It's dead. Well, you know, like or, your or you're going to have to wait a little bit to get your rod back with the tip snaps. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. too, yeah, something like Anyhow, that. Anyhow, let's okay. wrap this up, man. Okay, yeah, guys. We, we, we had to push this over the 35-minute mark, so. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm still I'm still ahead of last week, so there That's you go. That's right. Um, well, guys, uh, with the guy that ties flies, until next time, bang! Bang! <laughs>